Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about steganography. So what is steganography? So steganography is actually an art of writing a hidden messages. So with the help of steganography we can write a hidden message which can only be viewed by our receiver. So with the help of steganography we can hide a one piece of information behind another piece of information. So just for example you can see here that here is our text file which contains our hidden message. So we can hide this text file behind any jpg image and even we can hide this text file behind any mp3 file. So it's the same vice versa we can even hide one mp3 file behind any jpg file and even we can hide any jpg file behind any text file. So this is the beauty of steganography that we can hide one piece of data behind the another piece of data. So there are different different techniques like LSB that is last significant bit. So there are different techniques which are used in order to hide our data. So now let's see how steganography works. Now let's see how we can hide a text behind an image file by using one python script. So in order to do so we have to start our Kali Linux and here you can see that my Kali Linux is up and running. So let's download that script from my github profile. So just write here gast.github.com slash sharatkumar97 and here you will find one file named as stego, stego.py. So let's download this file. Click over here and let's just save the page. So I'm saving this on my desktop. Okay, so the file has saved now. You can see here. Now let's open our terminal. And let's go here to the desktop. Here you will see a list of files. And here is our file stagger.py. So the first thing we have to do is we have to change its mode and we have to make it executable. So let's write here ch mode and our file name. And if I do ls, you will see here that now our file is an executable file. So before running this file, we have to install pip, which is actually a Python li library manager, which is used to install Python libraries. So just write here apt-get install python pip. And this file stagger.py is actually compatible with Python 2.7. Meanwhile, let's read out the source code of that file. So, and our Python pep is also installed. So, let's see that what's inside this file. Okay. So, here you can see that here I am importing some libraries, steganography libraries. Then I have added this parser, which actually takes three parameters. The first one is carrier in which we will specify a carrier file then stego text in which we will write down a text which will be hidden inside our file and in the last the third parameter is actually used to find out the hidden text behind any image file and here i have created two functions def hide text which is used to hide the text behind the file and then def find text which is used to find the text behind any file so this is a small source code of this file and here you can see that now our pip is installed so you can just read its man page so it's a tool for installing managing python packages now let's install steganography package in our system so that can be imported by our file so just write down here pip install steganography hit enter Okay, and here you can see that this steganography package is successfully installed. Now let's do ls and here is our file. So first of all, let's run this file and let's pass it one parameter called as help in order to see that what kind of parameters this file accepts. So here you can see that right now we can give three parameters. So the first parameter is carrier in which, in which we will specify the path of a carrier file 
which will contain our text then the next parameter we have to give hyphen hyphen stego text in which in which we will enter the text to hide now the third parameter is used to find out the text behind an image so first of all you can see here that on my desktop there is one image called as demo.jpg so let me just rename it and make it as demo okay so let's run this file python stego.py and let's give the first parameter that is carrier and here I will specify that file name jpg name called as demo.jpg then I will give a next parameter that is stego text and here I will write down a text which I want to hide behind this file so let it be this is secret and just hit enter so it's give us an error no file or demo.jpg okay I think we have to rename it again now let's see what happened okay so here you can see that our script is running and behind this shell on my desktop you can see that this script has created a new file called as stago.png and this file actually contains a text behind it so what we can do is we can even check the properties of our old file so you can see here that its size is 138 KB and now let's just check the property of our new image file which is created by this script and its properties is 778 KB so you can see here that there is change in the size and even in small little exif data in this new image now let's do one thing now let's try to find out the text which is present inside this file stago.png so we have to run over this file again stago.py but here this time we will specify this parameter hyphen hyphen stago find and will give the path or the name of this file stago.png so let's just write here stego find and here we'll specify the name that is stego.png and we'll see that whether this script is able to find the text which is hidden in this file or not so just hit enter and here you will see that we have founded one text hidden text found and this was the text which was found this is secret so this is how we can hide a text behind any image file so this was a short demo of steganography but this was all about linux means we can run this script on linux and windows but what about you want to hide a one file behind another file means there are two images file you want to hide one image file behind another image file or you want to hide a mp3 file behind an image file so in order to do so there is a very good tool called as invisible secrets so you can see here so you can download this tool from here invisiblesecrets.com slash downloads and it's available for two versions the pro one and the free one so I have downloaded and installed this one this free trial copy so you can download it from here so once you download this tool and install this tool uh, so it will looks like this so you have to click over here continue trial and if you want to buy this tool then you can because this tool is very good tool in cryptography so here you can see the menu of this tool so it contains a lot of functions like hide files we can hide files and we can unhide files even we can encrypt files using a particular algorithm we can decrypt the files we can create our self decrypting packages we can even send the file from one IP to another IP by using secure password transfer even we can lock a particular application in our computer like you have downloaded and installed one software and you want to encrypt that software and you want to lock that software so that the another user will not be able to access that software then you can with the help of this function locked application but first of all 
we'll see that how we can hide one file behind another file and on my desktop you can see here I have two images the first one is carrier and the second one is hide now let's do one thing click over here hide files and at the first here we have to give the file which we want to hide in the carrier file means here at the first point we have to give the file we which, which we want to hide so let's give this file click over here add files and select this file click on next and here we have to specify the name of a carrier file which will carry the hide file so click over here now this time we'll give this file carrier okay so carrier type is jpeg and let's click over here view jpg image so this is the image which will be displayed after this steganography or after hiding this file so click on next and click over here wipe carrier file after process so once this file is hidden inside the carrier file this image will be deleted and the new image will come and there is one more option that we can even specify a password in order to encrypt our file so if you want to give a password then you can otherwise you can skip this encryption but I think it's not letting us to skip let's just add the password here so let's write here demo and here you can select a particular encryption algorithm you want to use so I use this blowfish click on next and here we have to add or write down the name of a new file which will be created and which contain this hide.jpg file so click over here and we can even select a particular location so we want I want to save a new file on my desktop and the new file name will be new hidden click on save and here click on hide and here you can see that our carrier file is deleted and a new file named as new hidden is created on my desktop so if I open this file you can see a no change but let's try to find out the size of this file it's 1 MB but here you can see that its size is increased because it contains this file in itself now click on next and finish so now you can send this file to anyone and in order to unhide this file or to retrieve the hidden file from this file so first of all let's do one thing let's delete this file hide okay now click on unhide files and here we have to give the location of the file which contains hidden file and here is that file new hidden click on open and click on next and here we have to specify the password which we have given while hiding that file and we have to select a particular algorithm which was used while encryption so I have used this blowfish so I have to use the same algorithm in order to decrypt click on next and here you can see that this tool has found one file named as hide.jpg inside this file so where we want to retrieve it so let's retrieve this hide.jpg file on my desktop so select this click on ok click on unhide and here you will see a new file called as hide.jpg which was actually hidden behind this file is retrieved so this is how you can hide a one file behind another file by using this tool invisible secrets now let's see how we can encrypt files by using this tool so click over here encrypt files so here we have to give the location of file which we want to encrypt and we can even encrypt a particular folder so click on add files let's try to encrypt this file hide.jpg hide click on open and click on next and here we have to specify the password we can even select a particular algorithm now this time let me select RC4 that is reverse cipher 4 algorithm click on encrypt and click on finish and here you will see a file called as hide.jpg is created and if you just look at its properties it says invisible secrets encrypted file and in order to and if you open this file 
it will ask us for the password so we have to write here password we have to select the same algorithm rc4 click on decrypt and here you see do you want to replace it yes and here you can see that we got our same file hide.jpeg so this is how we can encrypt a file we can decrypt the files by using this tool so you have to click over here locked application in order to lock or encrypt a particular application in windows so let's click over here and when for the first time you will open this link locked application it will ask you for entering a new password and then confirm password and I have already set it my password so that's why it's not asking me to enter a new password and it's asking me to enter a existing one so let me enter my password here and here you can see that right now we are inside this menu lock applications and here is one button lock new application so click over here and it will search and list out all the application which is installed in our computer here you can see here now let's do one thing let's try to lock this calculator so hit enter because it is in use okay so let's try to lock this one okay so here you can see that I have locked this Python IDLE and now click on finish and now here you can see that if I search for Python uh, so here you will see that I am seeing the Python IDLE 3.6 but the Python IDLE which I have logged is Python 2.7 and you can see that that Python 2.7 is nowhere even we can confirm it by going to Python directory it's here Python 2.7 and if I scroll down you will see that there is a no file of Python IDLE that is 2.7 Python now in order to decrypt or unhide that file or the application we have to click over here logged application again we have to add our password here click on OK select this application and click on unlock selected and you will see now that application is not locked we can even confirm it by just typing here python and here you will see at the top we got our ideally python so this is how a steganography works and in this video we have discussed that what is steganography and how we can hide one file behind another file by using steganography techniques thanks for watching this video